All right, guys, and welcome to the second round of the SC4D tournament here. This is Venerati. Glad to be here with Chino Reem. Chino Reem, tell us what we're going to see today. All right, in this match of the final round of the tournament, we have Joey the Purple Pro Protoss facing off once again against Drake Death the Blue Terran, playing on Delta Quadrant. Mm. So we have the Purple People Eater against the uh, the Blue humans so it's going to be interesting to see who chooses to win of course if someone hadn't let the bag out earlier we all would still be in uh, holding our breath as to who would win we don't know that yet if anyone is new here or hasn't watched the second first video for the first round of this match um, go watch the first round but don't watch the last <laughs> couple seconds and you will be surprised yeah spoiler alert there so we're seeing Drake Death drop down a pretty uh, a pretty standard blocking the uh, ramp off. Now, th of course, we're, we're looking at gold level play here, so nothing wrong with that. However, we don't see this particularly too much in the top tier, um, even against Zerg. Uh, these, these supply depots being wafer thin, basically being like tissue paper when it comes to baneling. And we do see a uh, SCB take a poke at this probe here. And we do see this, the uh, barracks coming down. So do you think we're going to see the same kind of unit composition as we did last game? There is a possibility, seeing as he is a Terran player. Terran players like to keep it pretty straightforward. And if he decides to go anything surprising, uh, we'll know about it pretty early, I think. But both players starting off um, relatively standard, I guess you could say. Chrono boosting out the probes here for Joey, getting both... What are the assimilators up? Yeah, the the second assimilator is a little un uncommon in my book. Personally, seeing that second assimilator dropping down, so don't know if he's going to try to push a lot of sentries early on. I'm not really sure about that. Of course, the stand the uh, Terran is opening up with a stand standard MO, really leaving himself open to a universal uh, tech tree. Basically, he could go for the uh, oh god, what is this? What does HD say? Or not HD? <laughs> Uh, the, yeah, the cloud ha fist hammer build. The I don't know. Cloud f fist, which is very go. effective against Protoss because of the the bulk and the possibility of a four gate, which will destroy any Terran player if he does not have a quick MM ball full of Marauders. Yeah, well, of course, we all know anyone who plays against Protoss on a regular basis as Terran knows we all fondly love that four gate. Oh, how it takes such a high level of skill. <laughs> See, oh, we actually see a proxy base, a proxy Stargate, which is going to be seen by Drake Death. So Joey's little plan is going to be foiled. What do you think's gonna? What do you think Drake Death's uh, reply is going to be to that? I, well, Marines off the start. That's a very surprising scout. It looks like he's just scouting all the way around. So he got lucky in finding that, and uh, Once Joey again, very unlucky. Yeah, Joey really uh, unfortunately paying for the price of. Of Drake Death's scouting. Once again, scouting being a pivotal key in any sort of game. Just guys, throw that SCV out there, throw that probe, throw that drone out there. Who cares? He is nothing. He is 50 minerals. Why do you care about him? Just throw him out there. The information that he will gather early on in the game is going to be so pivotal. Of course, we do see Joey now bring out the warp. <laughs> wow, the Void Ray, but he is not chrono boosting, so I'm not really sure why he's not chrono boosting that. We see five Marines here, which will be more than enough to fend off that Void Ray. So, do you think that uh, Drake Death is going to continue with a three rack and do a Marine Marauder push, or what? There's definitely a possibility. Um, he'll probably try and tech up to Medvax and get a couple of. Couple of <laughs> why can't I remember what they're called? Uh, Vikings, in case there he we has go. trouble with the. Uh, Void Rays, which one is out right now. I'm surprised Joey didn't cancel it altogether and abandon the uh, for or the early uh, Stargate cheese, as you could say, the VR cheese. <laughs> Just yes, of course. It's being searched. <laughs> well, yes, he did see it, but maybe even so far as the fact it's like, well, he thinks I'm doing it, so I'm gonna. He thinks I'm gonna cancel because I know he knows I know what he's doing, so. You know, it could be one of those crazy like, logic trains, but uh, we actually see some stalkers yeah. coming in there. Wow. How, uh, did How I miss something? Somehow they snuck in. Uh, Drake Death's forces moved out, and his two forces moved right in. 
Yes, we do see actually the Supply Depot staying down, which is a common mistake made by lower tier players. Not that, you know, these guys are terrible. Actually, we do see the Void Ray coming in here trying to charge up, but this Void Ray is going to be totally destroyed by these Marines. And we do see it be blown to chunks. Exactly. Going back to it, though, well, the Supply Depots, unfortunately, the doors stay down. These Supply Depots, if you're going to use them as a front door, they should stay up. I mean, yes. there's no reason to keep them down. I mean, what do you think about that, Chino? Um, uh, yeah, definitely keep them up because it's very scarily, scary if uh, lings rush into your base. And you just got to monitor and make sure you know what's up and what's down. And it looks like Joey knows the end isn't here. I'm surprised with the void ray that he pulled over. He did not charge up, charge it up on this supply depot right here in the corner that I'm looking at. If he had done that, he could have had a much better chance to... Uh, take down those marines but the uncharged void ray has no chance yeah i, I agree with you uh self-charging is a great use but unfortunately i don't know a joey really doesn't seem to be having a, a lot of perseverance in this situation he had two gates down already he could have chrono boosted those gates down he could have had those sentries block off that ramp and hold this marine marauder ball off and he, he could have continued to stay in the game he was not completely neutered by that. We did have the robotics facility coming down. He could have had an immortal. You know, there's a lot of woulda, shoulda, couldas. And he could have even chrono boosted that void ray out and stayed in the back corner and not allowed uh, Death Drake to engage with the Marines. But then again, we are seeing gold level play. So, you know, Joey, if you would have a little more perseverance, we could have seen a lot more from him. But. You know, uh, it, it was a pretty quick game, and we saw some early cheese get foiled by scouting. Yes, and you can see a. Uh... Joey's mineral count very high here too. He could have been throwing down more stalkers and sentries out of this, as well as getting that immortal out, using the sentries to block off the ramp, like you said. You can you just notice some players will leave out. Maybe he is severely down in this game, but not completely out. And sometimes players will leave too early. Sometimes players will leave when they know they're done. But I do always like to give it an give my. Uh, <laughs> my opponent a run for his money never give up until you know for sure that you have no chance but some of these mistakes some of the things he could have done like you said woulda shoulda coulda he absolutely just didn't think that he could do that well you know and it really depends on the person now joy didn't do a bad job any of this and joy you know he made it to the vinyl so obviously he doesn't suck too bad so really, I agree with you with the tenacity. You should really bring a lot of tenacity to the game. It makes it that much more exciting. And hell, if you're going to get casted, why not be an asshole and just stay there that much longer? Yeah. But I personally would have fought it out. But I wasn't playing. So really glad to have been able to cast this with you, Chino. Glad to see that we have these tournaments going on with these level players. Always looking to see the StarCraft community grow. So Chino, why don't you let us out? All right. Well, this is the uh, finale to the first ever StarCraft 4 Dummies tournament. There will be more to come. Props to Drake Death, our overall tournament winner. He received a, a small prize. Hopefully in the future we will be able to pick up some sponsors and produce some more realistic prizes for those of you who really want to get into the tournament scene. So keep on the lookout for future tournaments and future contests here at SC40. This is uh, Chino Reem with Venerati from StarCraft Nation, signing out. All right, guys, Venerati, signing out.